Hi everyone, welcome to Clarity for Show sure ARD Unlock series. Today we are going to discuss why critical irrigation stages are important. In agriculture, critical irrigation stages are specific growth stages or phases in crop's life cycle where adequate soil moisture is essential to achieve optimum yield. Water stress at these stages can cause irreversible yield loss whereas timely irrigation can maximize crop productivity and water use efficiency. Let's decode few crops, golden moments when crop needs water the most. Crown root initiation, tilling, flowering and dough stage are important stages of wheat. The most important stage, CRS stage varies for 20 to 25 days after sowing. Water stress here reduces root formation. Pennicut initiation, flowering and dough stage are important stages of rice. Continuous standing water is common but these stages are critical in upland rice. Tasseling, silking and grain filling are important stages of maize. Water stress during silking reduces pollination success and kernel number. Peg formation and pod development are important stages of groundnut. Lack of moisture causes poor pegging and pod filling. Flowering and ball development are important stages of cotton. Moisture stress reduces ball number and size. Pre-flowering and pod formation are important stages in pulses. Water stress during flowering causes flower drop and water stress during podding affects grain size. A research conducted by ICR over wheat cultivation in India indicates that CRI stage alone contributes up to 70% of final yield response to irrigation. In North India, wheat sown in November requires irrigation at CRI stage of around 21 days after sowing. If irrigation is missed at this stage, Poor root development, reduced tillering, and overall 20 to 40 percent reduction in yield was recorded. Let us know the next topic you want us to cover. Drop your answers in the comments. Subscribe to Clarity for Sure for more such insights. Thank you.